Hi everyone, it's Ranger Freddy. A few weeks ago, we had something very noticeable happen in this area. You had to watch your step because the ground was yellow and it was moving. It had a horn and it was hungry. Check it out. Wow. All right, let's watch our step. The desert is green with lots of vegetation. This allows these caterpillars to thrive. This is the most I've ever seen in the Red Hills Visitor Center area. They're only seen in large numbers like this for a short period of time before they pupate and become large hawk moths. More specifically, the white lined fink moth. Thank you, Monsoon Storms, for the increased rainfall this year. It's been very lovely. These sprite horn worms have a horn like appendage at the end of their body that they use as a defense mechanism. Good thing they're not venomous and pose no threat to you because they can't bite or sting. The horn that resembles a stinger is soft and is not harmful to the touch. These caterpillars are known for their voracious appetites and they can consume several large leaves a day. That's a lot for a critter this small. These folks are on a mission to eat as much as they can before becoming moths. I don't know why they're going up there. There's no plants. They're probably just in their wandering face, trying to look for the right place to burrow on the ground to pupate. Check this out, some of these guys have been taking a shortcut. Here's a different angle. Wow, they're pretty tough. Apparently this does not hurt them. Who knows when we're going to have a population of these caterpillars. This numerous and noticeable, so we better enjoy this. Let's go have some fun. <laughs> We even have this Arizona blonde tarantula join the party. Run, little guy, run, run. Ah! This is a male, I believe, if I'm correct. Looks like it. Yeah. Look at that. Hey, wants to go inside the visitor center. They got the team here. <laughs> Volunteer Craig, Elizabeth, Bobby, Ray Ray. <laughs> The caterpillar phase lasts about three weeks, and the pupation phase another three weeks. After that, you get beautiful moths that, that look like this. They emerge to live for just about 10 days. Moths are so underrated, but that's a conversation for another video. Some people don't want these visitors around. I actually appreciate them. These powerful eaters have been munching on some of my weeds at home. So thank you buddies for helping out with some yard work, and thank you for watching. See you next time. Take care.